Next week, Elvis Presley is back in the fast-moving musical adventure Speedway. It's the story of a stock car racer who gets behind with his income tax payments and discovers that he's being chased by none other than revenue agent Nancy Sinatra. Elvis Presley in Speedway next Monday at 6 o'clock. Well, this is our bank holiday evening ahead on BBC Two, and as you can see, it's dominated by the snooker final between Joe Johnson and Steve Davis, with visits to the Crucible Theatre at 7 and 11.40. At 10.30, in touch and go, we go to the Cretan town of Galatas to meet some of the veteran soldiers who were involved in the Battle for Crete in 1941. And that's our evening ahead, here on BBC Two. This is BBC Two, it's five to seven. There now follows a party political broadcast by the Labour Party. Hello, I'm Jill Gascoigne. You're about to hear from a number of people that you know well from your television and your radio. What we have in common is a belief that Britain's biggest asset is its people. And we know that's at the heart of Labour's commitment to people. With some of the roles I play, I've been thinking a lot about law and order. I am horrified at the increase in crime and violence in Britain today. We all know that crime thrives where people are unemployed and hopeless. Labour gets my vote because they will tackle that as a top priority and set about helping people to protect their homes and communities. I'm Glenda Jackson. I vote Labour because I am a product of the welfare state. If it hadn't been for that socialist dream that was made a social reality by the Labour Party, coming as I do from a working class background, I would have had no opportunities. Present day conservatism seems to believe that opportunities can only be given to those who can afford to buy them. So if you want better education, better hospital services, better housing, vote Labour. I'm Leonard Fenton. I was born here in the East End of London. In fact, I went to this school here and to scout meetings in the evenings. <laughs> 